today's lesson, you'll be learning how to create guest number game. Now, what is this game all about? This game is all about you're going to get like a you have to write any random number and that you have to think that's the correct number and if you press ok then if it's the wrong number then you uh, if you it's the wrong number when you write it two times then you have lost the key now if you write the correct number then you win the key now let me just tell you that we'll add a hint because we don't know we cannot just guess a random number and say it as the correct one right so let's do that I also want to tell you that at the end you're going to get a surprise. So make sure you watch this video till the end. Now what let's do is add some color to this background. So let's make it colorful. Let me add a title to this called Guess the Number so that I can understand that this is a Guess the Number game. Now what let's do is add some blocks like buttons and all those stuff. So let's go to the top left. And over there, I'm going to add a text box and then a button and another button. Now, let me change the text of these two to three objects that we added. What let me do is now let me add some spacing between the guest, the number and the text box, OK and the reset buttons. What let me do is add my name, link and the element text so that I want to give some spice of me. So let me do that. Hooray! We are done with the user interface. Now let's jump into the UI. Good. So what let's do is add a variable in the blocks section. So let's add a variable by going to the top left and there I'll click on variable add a global variable. Now let me change the text up. You can see this is my random number. As this is the random number, what now let me do is add an integer to, to this from my 1 to 20 integer. You can see the code. I am saying that it should choose a random number from 1 to 20. Now let's add a button. Let's add a button. Try to raise that button and let's add some code to that. So what we need to do is make this set and duplicate this and put this there and I need to add my second button and then we are now let's add a text box to, to show them the hint so let me add it like this and let me just change the text to zero like that okay so what we need to add is a label so let's add a label so for the label I add this one like this and uh, I need to add the text of the label like that and I need to make it false in the log. So now what let's do is add the code for the um, like the OK button. So let's add the code for the OK button. So for this let's add an if else. I click in this and I'm going to add an else. And then I'm going to make copy this dialog that I added and say to them that this is wrong. We need to add another variable for this as named as chances so let's name it chances and let's make our global chance to zero let's call the procedure that i just created called start game into these two things because we need to we do not want to duplicate this again and again so let's create the procedure Check it out, I just added a global number, like this is my notifier when the person lost the key. And this block you can see is for making the person to have two chances of refreshing again. And if we double win the game, gone. You're gone and you lost it. Like this. And this is the incrementation of making it only two steps. One thing mistake we have done is we need to put the global chances at the top. So let's add that. Hooray! We are done! Right? So now what let's do is just test our game out. So I'm just going to connect into my phone to this and show you the screen. So now you can see on my phone and I'm seeing the game. Now what is happening over here is, okay, so you can see this is my phone. And let me write the number, it's saying it's 17. And I just write it and it will say, amazing, I won the game. And need to restart it and after that another number comes. And I restart it, oh, okay, I forgot to press okay for that. 
I need to write or okay at the end. Now you must be thinking this game is not good for uh, big people, right? But this is basically made for small kids because they need to learn, right? And that's why I made this game for the kids. Now they have to learn how to read the number and they have to learn if it's the correct if if the number they are typing is correct or not. So they, I want them to learn that, right? And that's why I created this. Now, let me just tell you the surprise I was telling you before. My surprise is, you can see the specs I'm wearing over here. The surprise is, do you see the specs I'm wearing over here? They are not real. You must be thinking they are, but they are not. You must be thinking I'm kidding, right? No, I'm not, right? Let me show you again. See how the Puma ad, it goes like this. And then when I do like this, also it goes. And when I remove my arms from my face, it comes like this, right? Isn't that unviewable? Interesting part is, I made this myself. And if you are wondering how I made it, then like this video and let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you can learn more. And also subscribe to my classes to learn more. Thank you and bye bye.